So in this last example, ladies and gentlemen, just like when we, if you guys remember when we did multiplication, we multiplied and then we used the rules of exponents to add our powers. Um, JT, in division, we're going to do the exact same thing. I need to divide uh, 3 into 6.3, and then I'm going to use the rules of exponents uh, to subtract my powers since they have the same bases. So the first thing is to go back and remember how to um, do our division. So when we're dividing 3 into 6.3, um, I'm basically just going to work on this at one at a time. 3 goes into 6. We can say 2 times. 2 times 3 is um, 6. Then I'll um, subtract that. Sorry. I get 0. 3 does not go into 0. So then I'm going to place a decimal point. And then, but there is, instead of, instead of always adding zeros, there actually is a number next, which is down 3. 3 does go into 3. One time, 1 times 3 is 3, 0. But then there are um, infinite many zeros, and that's just going to be our n. So uh, 6.3 divided by 3 is just going to be 2.1 times 10. Now remember, you were subtracting our exponent, so it's going to be 11 minus a negative 3. Right? When, we, when, we're, when we are dividing, we are subtracting the powers. Make sure that you understand that one power is positive, one power is negative. So I'm actually subtracting a negative, which turns into be a double, um, double negative. So it's going to be 2.1 times 10 to the 14th power. Okay.